Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I forgot my headphones, so this video hopefully has a good sound. The weather update, around 15 degrees Celsius, something around that. A little bit colder today, but all good. Beautiful views behind me, you know what this is. I don't have to tell you. Kremlin, we are at the front of Kremlin, okay. Let's go sit down and I read you the news. Four topics today, guys. Let's start with something very, very interesting that uh, I came across. This is from August, August 25th. This will be probably the title of this video because it says, is it still safe to travel to Poland? The British Foreign Ministry Office has issued an urgent warning. I was like, what? Okay, let's, let me read you this first and then I tell you my humble opinion about it. By the way, this is my view. How beautiful, huh? All right. United Kingdom. The British have issued a travel warning to Poland. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Commonwealth and Development, in short FSDO, has issued a warning for people getting, going to Poland. FSDO advises against travel to the Polish-Ukrainian border or any trips to Ukraine. Quote from this article which is from Polish Observator, Polski Obser Observator portal, Polish Observer translation. Uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine continues. Military attacks are taking place in Ukraine at a distance of 20 kilometers from Polish border, the statement said. Therefore, the Minister of Foreign Affairs advises against travel to Ukraine from Poland. There is a real, there is a real threat to life, the statement says. Access to the border is restricted. No travel can be guaranteed to be saved. Once again, this is from August 25th. This is from last month, a little bit older than a week. No coincidence, right, that they are making such a statement and they say it's about Ukraine. No, in my humble opinion, they are preparing something, and we all know it. And United Kingdom, that is far, far away from that region, is warning people about it in advance. Just checking this noise, I think they are doing some kind of construction, there are some repairs. So this, this is not a good sign, let's just put this way. However, there have been many warnings about travels as well. Many warnings issued by United States. You remember not to travel to Russia, etc. Staying on the topic of Belarus, Belarus, from TASS. This one is from TASS. It says, let me just put myself like this. It says that uh, Russia continues to deploy tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. This article is from today, from the 7th of September. Um, work on the deployment of Russian tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus continues in accordance with the set schedule. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said the development, the deployment, sorry, the deployment of Russian technical nuclear weapons in Belarus is being carried out in accordance with the schedule that the Russian president mentioned. Several stages have now been completed in terms of creating the relevant infrastructure, re-equipping the relevant carriers. He told the reporters on the sidelines of the regional seminar strengthening the nuclear non-proliferation regime. The nuclear non-proliferation regime. This work is continuing, the senior diplomat pointed out. So, the UK is a warning. And Belarus, Russia is deploying more nuclear uh, 
tactical nuclear weapons there. Okay, let me move because we have a lot of people here and I'm distracted. The next article is how Polish ruling party, law and justice, peace, is playing with stupidity of many Polish citizens who still don't get it. They just still don't get it. So let me tell you what just has happened in Poland yesterday. You know what happened, guys? They lowered the interest rate much, much more than was expected by anyone. So let me read you first this part of the article and then I give you the comments about it because it's important to mention this. From money.pl, Polish portal that is mainly about finances, banking and stuff. They have some news as well, updates, but this is how the this is how the situation looks like. The Monetary Policy Council made a decision on interest rates which were reduced by 0.75% points. Experts emphasize that no one expected such a drastic cut. We also observe a collapse on the zloty, Polish currency. The move by 1.8% against the dollar or the euro after the council's decision as for the currency market is powerful and perceived as a red card from investors on the NBPs, which is Narodowy Bank Polski, Polish National Bank, the, the main bank in Poland, actions. Uh, so one, one more time the sentence. The move by 1.8% against the dollar or the euro after the council's decision as for the currency market is powerful and perceived as a red card from investors of the NBP's actions. And the one in the communique after the meeting wanted the opposite. So here are some comments. Let me just put my glasses on. Here are some comments from um, some financial experts. This is how the central banks of the third world or the politicized bank of Turkey behave where, where Erdogan can fire the head of the bank with one decision. There with high inflation, means in Turkey, right? There with high inflation rates were also lowered. We know how it ended, a crisis uh, said in the interview with money.pl Sławomir Dudek who is the president of the Institute of Public Finances. You can see what's happening to the złoty, Polish currency. I hope this calms down. They meant well, means the law and justice, but overdid it. We expected, like everyone else in the market, that these movements would be more balanced as far as lowering interest rates. Now we will have to explain whether something bad will happen to the economy through such an action. Before I continue with this article, so let me tell you uh, my opinion, right? Not just mine, but it's I shared that opinion with many other people there, experts. So you know, this is the this is the game. This is the game for the elections, right? So what they have done, law and justice, the ruling party, they lowered the interest rates so people feel people feel better when they are paying less those crazy credits they took mortgages you know car loans and stuff and stuff like that so now they lower it to 0.75 right as i remember they were talking about lowering this between 0.25 to like 0.3 something like that so they did such a drastic uh, move just to show people this is crazy. Like we are helping you, helping you here. So now you will pay less of that, uh, you know, credit, those payments. But then after the election, they're gonna stab them in the back with something else. And so many people don't get it. I'm telling you. Not to even mention the level level of credits in Poland. 
how since banks like US banks and all those, you know, international banks entered Poland, how the mentality of Polish population has changed with this. And I just want to say this because I can only share from my experience, guys. When I was growing up, uh, you know, my parents came from the time they were they were very little when the World War II started, right? They were kids, very small. But their mentality, both of their mentality, it was, my mom was more like, you know, uh, surviving men mentality and my father was like prospering and surviving, which was uh, like, you know, you, you produce and you save, you know, and you protect yourself. But none of my parents, not my mother, not my father were ever into any debt. And I remember when I moved to US, you know, and I get into this US uh, culture thing with credit cards and stuff, that was one of their biggest concerns because they knew what kind of trap is that. But this is just sharing personal opinion here, which I know many of you share with me as well, because it's a, it's a form of slavery, right? It's a modern slavery. But let me continue with this article because there is a few more interesting, important points. Uh, where we were here, okay. So they're gonna blame it on Putin, probably, right? They're gonna blame it on conflict in Ukraine, ultimately, when everything just hits the fan, bleep hits the fan. The government has set inflation in the budget for the next year 6.6%. But in Poland is to have, but Poland is one country to have one of the highest, if not the highest rate of price growth in all of Europe. So in Poland, the prices actually are going up the one of the, the countries that it goes higher the most and one of the highest inflations. Again, the numbers they give you is completely BS because it's not relevant. It's not true in comparison to how the prices went up. Um, in such a context of this uh, highest price growth in all of Europe, such a drastic reduction in interest rates is not a sustained action but a political one the monetary policy council is not worried about the economy but about the success of law and justice in the election of peace right law and justice when i say peace you think peace like you know no war but this is the name law and justice prawo i sprawiedliwość which is actually the opposite there is no law and there is no justice yeah, you gotta flip everything. Whatever they say, you gotta flip. You gotta flip the name they say. Isn't it like so simple? They say law and justice, with me, which means injustice and zero law. Unlawful. Ah, so they read this move as a purely electoral decision. And that is coming from Marcin Zielinski, who is the chief economist of the Civil Development Forum. Yep. I just had like my aha moment that you have to flip the name of law and justice to get the truth. And I have one more article, guys. What else I have? One second. Oh, yes. Okay. I really want to talk about this too. This is uh, regarding to something that in my opinion, again, you, we don't have to share the same opinion, guys. I just want to tell you this. Like, I might be completely off, but very often my intuition is quite on, on the spot with those things. So in my opinion, the threat, the biggest threat that we have right now, it's not the nuclear conflict. It's not even that much the financial crash because that will be a financial transition for sure and change. What I really feel is the biggest threat for humanity now is the biological weapon. In my opinion, you know, not those fake aliens they're gonna create. They are real aliens and there are those, you know, CGI aliens, right? But the biolog biological threats, those biological weapons that actually I mentioned in several videos ago when Medvedev was talking about it, that in my opinion is real threat. and. Just when I was thinking this, this morning actually, this download came to my mind. I found this article on TAS again from yesterday, from the 6th, and it says US rules out international control 
of its biolabs, Russian Defense Ministry said that. So Lieutenant General Igor Kirillov recalled that back in 2001, the United States blocked work on a legally binding protocol to the BTWC, thus completely excluding the possibility of international control of its military biological research. Uh, quoting him now. I would like to recall that back in 2001, the United States block, blocked work on a legally binding protocol to the BW, BTWC, thus completely excluding the possibility of international control of the military biological research. Kirillov said during a news briefing on the analysis of documents related to Washington's military biological activities. He pointed to the statements by United States presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr., who during an interview with Tucker Carlson spoke in detail about the events of September uh, of 9-11. In particular, he said that the subsequent signing of the Patriot Act, that act, guys, I'm telling you, or we continue, signing that Patriot Act reopened the biolabs arms race in 2001 and the Pentagon began putting a lot of money into bioweapons. The United States presidential candidate, sorry, it's windy and my hair is all over. The United States presidential candidate elaborated on the legal implications of the Patriot Act, in particular, that since 2001, any official who violates the law on the use of biological weapons cannot be held criminally liable, although United States federal law provides for capital punishment for this offense. This provision was used as a loophole in international treaties that were ratified by the US Congress, Kirillov concluded. So, in closing here, guys, uh, my thoughts again on this. I feel this is something that that might be a true danger for, for, uh, for the world. Biological attack. And I think with the Shmovit, I have my opinion about Shmovit, okay? I'm not gonna fully share it here. Uh, because, well, first of all, it's YouTube, one thing, and second is like many of you probably will be aggravated what I say, but that doesn't matter really right now. What matters is I have a sense that that agenda is not over and the next project they have will be with biological threats. So, as the event in 2020 was questionable in many aspects of it the one that they can be preparing now or maybe many at the same time I don't think it will be that questionable and again this is not the reality that I want to create or manifest from even verbalizing it however my awareness of it is very strong and I would like to know from you your comments about it do you think that this is the biggest danger right now because people are focusing on the nuclear stuff meanwhile they are working very hard in those laboratories right don't you think in many places i'm sure poland is one of those places but those are just my thoughts i would like to know your thoughts leave it in the comments down below and let me show you the view before i end this video So join me on Locals, A-N-I-A-K, number 44.locals.com. This is the platform that I could actually say all the words I didn't say here. <laughs> and you can support me there as well. Thank you for buying me a coffee for my trip to China. Very, very appreciated. And you can follow me on Instagram to see more images from Russia, from Moscow and other places and join my mailing please to be in touch just in case
that's all I have for you. If the video brings you any con any value, if you enjoyed the content, hit that like, subscribe if you feel like, share the video, and I wish you a wonderful day, lots of love, and remember, we are the leading edge in saving the humanity. Bye, everyone.